What's up guys, it's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and today I'm gonna show you everything that I eat in a day as a vegan. This was a really easy day of food, nothing was super hard to make, everything was very convenient, delicious, healthy, and all vegan of course, so I hope this gives you some great ideas, and let's get started. So I'm starting with a glass of water. I always feel like my reward for finishing this glass of water is my cup of coffee, so I'm looking forward to that, but I've gotta get this done first because it just makes me feel a lot better. And then I'm gonna have breakfast and just clean up a little bit. I have one of those work from home days where I have three different projects I'm filming. I have a lot of administrative stuff I have to do, which is just kind of the back end of YouTube, getting all of the like descriptions and making the thumbnail and replying to emails and comments and all that kind of stuff. So it's very much like a work from home day. And I have a lot of really random ingredients in the house that I don't really know what I'm gonna make out of them, but I know I have enough to where I don't need to leave the store the house to go to the store. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys because I know that it can be tempting to sort of look into your pantry and see a lot of random things and think that there's nothing to eat and hopefully this will show you kind of my strategy when I'm in that exact situation. So I'm gonna have water, I'm gonna have coffee and we'll get to breakfast. So after my coffee, I decided it was time for breakfast, and on this day, I actually had some fresh berries to use, and I don't usually have fresh on hand. I normally have frozen just because they're so much cheaper, but so I had them on this day, and I really wanted to use them up, so I decided to make a fruit bowl so they would kind of be the star of the show. So I just peeled a Granny Smith apple, and I cut that into slices, and then I took some unsweetened vegan cashew milk yogurt. And I put that in the base of the bowl and then I kind of piled the fruit on top. So the berries went first and then I did some apple slices and I did half of a banana and then some homemade granola for some really nice crunch. This granola has chia seeds and coconut flakes and chopped hazelnuts and a bit of cinnamon. So it was the perfect kind of complement to the fruit bowl. And this was a really nice breakfast to have on a hot summer morning because it was a nice cold breakfast. I kept the other half of the banana that I didn't use in a container that I keep in the freezer. This is a great way to you know, reduce waste. Anytime I have zucchini or berries or bananas that I don't use up, I'll throw them in there and that way I have them for a smoothie. Then I took my multivitamin. I take this every day. I like this one in particular because it has a lot of vitamin B12 and it also has iodine. And iodine is really important for thyroid function and hormone regulation. So I make sure to take that every day. Okay, so it is lunchtime right now. I've been working for a while, I'm getting very hungry, and I just realized that I don't have any pasta. And I was thinking today that I was gonna make this great dinner utilizing these cherry tomatoes that are starting to get a little wrinkly to make tomato sauce for pasta, and that was gonna be my great dinner. I was gonna throw in all the veggies, and that was gonna be my, you know, clean out the kitchen fridge type of veggie pasta dinner for tonight. But then I realized I don't have pasta, and I really don't wanna go to the store, so I think I'm gonna use those tomatoes instead to make a soup. That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna get back to work. So I rummaged through my pantry and I found some ingredients to make soup. I don't always have veggie broth on hand, but I found veggie cubes instead. This is veggie bouillon. You just add hot water and all the spices kind of come to life. So found that and I always, always have canned tomatoes on hand. I use this for so many things. So I had a bunch of those ready to go and I pretty much always have onions and garlic in a big bowl on the counter. And then something I cannot recommend enough to you guys is to keep a tube of tomato paste in your fridge. It's so handy when you're making soups and stews and sauces. It just really adds a nice depth of flavor. So I just sauteed some onions and garlic, and then I added the tomatoes and some oregano along with the veggie bouillon cube and some red pepper flakes. And this was really only simmering for about five minutes and it was already smelling so good in my kitchen. So I added some water and the canned tomatoes and I took this off the heat so it could cool down a little bit. And then I just transferred the mixture to a blender so I could have a really nice, smooth and creamy tomato soup. Then I just transfer that back into the pot to warm up and I season this with some salt which really brightens all the flavors 
and it kind of brings everything together. And then I added a little bit of coconut sugar, which you guys might think is weird, but it doesn't make the soup sweet at all. It just kind of balances out the natural acidity of the tomatoes and again, just kind of brings all the flavors together. Then I added some soy milk just to make sure that this was a nice and creamy soup and I let that simmer on the stove while I made some sandwiches. I always have frozen bread in the freezer. I think it's so handy for days like this when you don't have a lot of fresh ingredients on hand, but if you have frozen bread in your freezer, you can make a sandwich pretty much out of anything that you find, whether it's peanut butter or an avocado. So it's a really great time-saving hack for those of you who find that you know you have a lot of bread that doesn't always get used up in a week. Now a little hack that some of you may be very familiar with and some of you may think is very strange is to use a little bit of vegan mayo on the outside of your grilled cheese to create that really nice crispy golden brown crust. You don't need a lot, just a very thin layer, and this creates a really nice crust. I actually learned this trick when I used to work at a diner a bazillion years ago, but it's way better than using butter because butter can kind of saturate the bread and make it kind of a little too intense, but having that thin layer of mayo adds that perfect little crunch that you want from a grilled cheese. So I let that kind of cook, and then I made an avocado toast on the other slice of bread, and I plated this up and... I was so excited about this lunch because it kind of seemed like I had a bunch of random ingredients in the pantry and in the freezer and it turned out to be really delicious. Okay, it is quite a bit later now. I'm very, very, very hungry. I'm on that like verge of hangry and hungry. I think I might make myself a snack. I know there are tortilla chips and maybe salsa waiting for me. Maybe not on the salsa, maybe just the chips but I don't want to spoil my appetite. I'm kind of right in that fine line of like need food now uh, because I got a little bit caught up. I filmed two different intros for two different videos and I took a bunch of content pictures and I organized some of the content and that's the creative part of the job that I really enjoy. So I tend to get very absorbed in that and very lost in that and I lose track of time and then I get very hangry. So that's where we are right now, it happens. But I know that I have quinoa, roasted potatoes and some tofu waiting for me in the fridge. I just don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Whatever I come up with, it's going to be very interesting and hopefully it'll be very fast because I'm hungry. So let's do this. <laughs> so like I said, I had some roasted potatoes and some tofu and then also some meal prepped quinoa. I also had one carrot, one almost ready to use up zucchini, it was kind of getting wrinkly, and then a little bit of asparagus. So I decided to make kind of an oven stir fry, which is the same flavors that a stir fry would have, but I just roasted everything in the oven so it would be a lot easier, it all just happens in one pan. So I just took some sesame oil, some coconut aminos, and some fresh garlic. You can also use soy sauce if you don't have coconut, coconut aminos, they're very similar. Then I just added my veggies, the carrot, the zucchini, the cubed tofu, and then also the asparagus. And then I just tossed this really well and it smelled so good so I was getting very, very excited about this dinner and especially since all I had to do was kind of pop it in the oven for 20 or 30 minutes to heat up. This was really great because I could just kind of clean up a little bit and get myself ready for the evening. And then right before I was ready to serve, I just heated up the quinoa. I put all of the tofu and veggies on top. And then I added a little drizzle of sriracha, which really adds a really nice heat. And then some cashew nuts, which adds a nice crunch. And this was so, so good. If you guys want kind of a stir fry, but you don't feel like actually making it on the stove, doing it this way was really good and really, really fast. All right, so it is very late. I was about to go wash my face and go to bed, but I am so hungry. So I made myself a piece of toast with peanut butter and half a banana on it. I don't know. It's like, I hate when I get hungry right before bed because I don't know if I should just go to bed and have a big breakfast in the morning or if I should eat a little something so that I sleep better. I don't know. Eating late at night is kind of iffy for me, especially since I cocktail, I'm a cocktail waitress. And so a couple nights a week, I usually end up eating a little bit later so I think my body is just confused in terms of when to be hungry and when to expect food so I'm really hungry though even though it's late so I'm just gonna have one piece of toast and hopefully it won't upset my stomach and I'll feel fine tomorrow but it feels like the right thing to do so I'm gonna do that 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I eat in a day. I hope it gave you some good ideas to utilize whatever you have in the fridge or freezer or pantry. It can sometimes surprise you how good things can be, especially that lunch. I was not expecting to make something that good and it was really fun to get to use up those ingredients and experiment with a soup recipe. I hope you guys love this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what the best thing that you ate today was in the comments below and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye. Mmm.